What is up guys, it is Hyan here, back to bring you another video. Today we're going to be talking about how to speed up Rust and how to boost the performance so you get a better FPS and you are able to play on either a lower laptop, maybe a laggy computer, or you just want to, you know, get more FPS like me. So anyway, I'm going to go through the couple of things that I do first when I'm on a server. So, first what usually is on is this grass. So as you see... This grass is really, really bushy, right? And drops down my FPS a bit. And plus, if there's a sleeper on the ground, you can't really see him as well as you head it off. So, all you're gonna do is you're gonna press F1, like that, and it brings up the console. And this is where you type everything. So you're just gonna do grass dot, dot on space false. And that's gonna turn it off like that. And as you can see, a significant performance increase has occurred and I'm getting 60 straight FPS right now. And everything is like, like you can see everything like all the way down there, like shoot that boat all the way down there. And you can see it. Everything is like changed. You can see much better. I see sleepers, everything, more PVP, better FPS. Yeah, just do it. We're also gonna discuss the items on the side. Now, if you're gonna make a sort of cinematic sort of video you're gonna to want to turn that off and then turn the chat off also which I already have off so it doesn't it doesn't uh, the chat doesn't go over there so now you, you're able to make a sort of cinematic thing right pretty cool right and then this let's turn that back on so your HUD's back that's your HUD toggle and detoggle and now here is the branding which is this rust dot alpha ribbon thing so if you just do that it's gone I kind of like it because I like to know when it's updated and stuff. And then the re the little arrow thing is to connect again and home, I think, brings you to the loading screen. So now that we did that, what I also like to do to uh, survive in these wastelands is do sensor.nudity space false. Now what this actually does, I'm not, I'm not gay or anything, but <clears throat> it makes everybody naked. Now this can help to tell if someone's a new spawn or they're actually a like player with pants on and they can kill you. So it, it helps me a lot usually. I can tell which players are from which. And we're gonna actually go to the start the start meter for uh, Rust, so yeah. What's up guys? We're at my desktop now. You can probably hear Rust in the background. Let's, let's like this out. Anyway, since we're at my desktop, we're gonna talk about the launch parameters. And I'm also going to tell you where I got all these tips from. And, um, no. How would I want that? Anyway, um, we're going to tell you, I'm going to tell you where I got some of these tips from. Most of them I found on my own, though. But this guy has made a great guide on Steam, on the Rust guides. I was looking at it, and I was realizing that there's a lot, a lot of changes you can make to increase your FPS. So... You could try all of these. You just uh, copy them and you paste them. I'll paste the link of this uh, this guide and I'll paste this part. But we're going to be talking about launch parameters here. Now basically what launch parameters is, when the game launches, it does a command. And these are some of the improvements that you could do to your game. So what you want to want to do is you're going to go into Steam and you right click and you're going to do properties. This is set launch options. So you're going to press set launch options and I was, I was already testing one. So, you want to copy one of these. So, this is, I think, changing the Direct3D, uh, the version. So, I think it'll help on older computers because for some reason when Direct3D updates, it it sort of burns out other computers for some reason. I don't understand why. But if you go to a different version of Direct3D, it could give you a huge FPS improvement. And if it, follow, if it screws up or something, or it crashes or something happens, you just want to go back and you want to, where is it? You want to delete that, like I'm doing, and press OK, and it won't be there anymore. So you just got to test it out and see which one's better for you. I didn't really see any improvement on there, so I'm not going to put any one on there. So yeah, you can also use Game Booster to to boost your computer if it's really old. I'm, I'm talking like laptop, but that should help. There's nothing really else you could do. That's probably the most that you could do. Uh, you can comment if you wanted another Rust video, maybe on PvP 
or check out my base or something. Alright, for some reason at the end of that video, the voice cut out for some reason on Fraps. But I was just going to say, if you guys want to send me tips on how to PvP in Rust, or how to, uh, you know, want to see my base building tips or getting items or something, you just send me a message or comment in the comments below. But yeah, I just want you to comment, rate, and subscribe. Maybe like it, share it on Reddit. So I'll see you guys later. Hi, and out.